how to get clients as a process server. Hey, my name is Lance and I am a, a California private investigator and process server. And I train process servers on how to get into business. And I also teach process servers on how to get clients. And that is one of the biggest things about owning your own process serving business. Because being a process server is a business. It's not just a job, it's really a business. So if you're not working for these large process serving firms like ABC, First Legal, you know, those kind of companies that you want to get your own clients, there's certain steps that you have to go through. And I'm about to show you a technique that you can use to find your own clients. It's like how to get clients as a process server. So I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see um, one of the techniques that you can use. Okay. I'm in Sacramento County. So our court records are accessible online where we can see, you know, we can view some of the case files. We can view, you know, we can do searches based on dates or names. So wherever you're located, you want to check with your local court to see if you can access the court records online. Um, otherwise, you would have to physically go to the courthouse to try to access the records um, online. And the reason is, is because these cases that are filed at your county courts, which could be small claims, civil court, family law court, probate court, or unlawful detainer court, which are evictions, they all have to be served. And that's where process servers come into play. So you have to find out whether or not you can access the same information at your, your, your court level. Now, in Sacramento County, it's the public case access system. You have to create an account, put a credit card on file with them, and it allows you to search by um, name or by date ranges or by case numbers. And depending on how you search will determine whether or not it's a, it, that you have to pay for that search. But the searches that we're gonna do is just based on dates. And then um, based on those dates, and there's no fee to search based on dates. So we're gonna go to the small claims and we wanna see you can search by name, search by case, search by filing date. So we're gonna go search by filing date. And I wanna check to find everybody that's filed a small claims in the past 30 days. So we'll click the date. So today is the 20th of February. So we're gonna go back to the 20th of January through the 20th of February, click search. Okay, so these are all the people that have filed a, a small claims case in the past 30 days. Um, and here's the case numbers here. It has the party's names. This is the plaintiff. This will be the defendant right here. So that's how it works. So you've got plaintiffs and then you've got defendants. Okay. Um, and so we just kind of, you know, you can see that, you know, you know, these are, you know, the good leads in order to try to co contact the uh, people on this list to see if they need to have their documents served, to see if they need to have their documents served. And here's the neat thing about this case, this uh, being able to, you can actually view the case file. So let's click view right here. And it gives you, um, the participant's name, the plaintiff and the defendant. And then the, like this is a corporation, the ACR Solar International Corporation is the defendant. And you have, corporations have to assign an agent for service or process. And this is the person that you would serve the documents to. So they, they have it listed as the agent of service or process. And so um, you can see that they got a waiver of court fees, um, and so, but the proof of service was filed already. So they did a, um, uh, this person's already been served. So let's go back and then check the next one. So this is against Applebee restaurants. We'll click the view the case files. Okay, so you got a plaintiff, you've got a defendant, Applebee's restaurant, and then their agent for service or process. We'll see, this is the, this is, this is the key. Right here, this agent for service or process. Um, I rank for this term in Google. So people would call me to serve documents if they were to search in Google for this term. 
you would find my information online. And my, my advanced process server uh, niche marketing course, I will teach you how to market your business so people that are trying to serve this, like agents for service of process, if they're trying to serve those documents, your information would pop up in the Google searches. Um, so let's do, let's do let's do an example searches. We're going to copy that. Let's go to Google. And then we'll paste that term in here. Okay, so you have some ads. You got ad. Here's one of my ads right there. And then if you go down and you got the generic searches, this is my website. If you need service, this is my website. And this is my website. So those are examples of, um, of how you can rank by doing research at the courthouse to find agents for service of process. And if they're in your area, then you market the stuff you, know, you market to serve documents to that location. So being that Applebee's restaurant um, is a company that most likely gets served every now and then we're actually going to put that on our list of things to do um hold on a second legal support services legal support services I guess they didn't want to talk to me. See, that's my that's my business line. Today's a holiday, so I know I'm not going to get many calls today, but that's actually my business line. So I'm answering the business phone today. So in essence, with this Applebee's restaurant, I'm going to make content around serving Applebee's because Applebee's, um, you know, somebody's su suing them, somebody's subpoenaing records, something's going on at Applebee's. So um, I'm going to make content around that. Okay, here is the case um, for uh, Daniel Leong versus Flores Aaron. There are two defendants that need to be served here. Okay, and so there's no proof of service filed for this specific case. So this would be one that um, we could call on the phone to see if they need to have their documents served. So we, you can click preview the case. And they kind of redact it, you know, with their name and everything, but you're looking for the plaintiff's information. And so um, you can see their phone number right there. And, you know, you can read it if you wanted to about what the disc, you know, what it's about. Um, but I don't really care what it's about. It's just got di different defendants to serve. And, you know, you can see their address. They're 20th Street, 927 20th Street. Okay. So what we're going to do is, we're gonna actually call Daniel on the phone. We're gonna actually call Daniel on the phone and see if he needs to have these documents served. Okay. Hey, Daniel, this is Lance. I'm a process server here in Sacramento County, and I see that you got a, a small claims case filed against Aaron and Joaquin Flores. And I wanted to find out if you had any questions about getting them served, because if, if you need to get them served, you can, you know, I can do it for you. My phone number is 800-683-4769. That's 800-683-4769. Okay, so basically, that's one way to cold call to get the, get the clients. Now, um, because the record is redacted, you can't see Daniel's um, address. You can't really see his address on there So to send him a letter. But if you was to go to the court, you could pull that file and then it would have the action. You'd see the full file without the redaction. Or you could pay, um, you know, you can pay 
to to get the file also online, but I'm not doing that. I'm just I just call the clients like that. So this so this is just one quick way that you can find clients and get you some clients. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification so you can be notified when I upload additional videos. And if you want to learn how to become a process server, I have an online process server training course where I teach you who to serve, how to serve, how to fill out the paperwork. Or if you want to, you are a process server and you're looking to get more clients. I have a, a advanced um, marketing course to teach you how to find niche markets like CSC lawyers and how to market your business online so people will call you to serve those businesses. So, hey, have a great day.